My name is Greg Slingland, and today I'm going to be talking about resonance. Specifically, resonance in an air column or, or tube, such as you might find in a musical instrument. <clears throat> Many instruments, such as a flute, consist of a tube that is open at both ends. First, we shall be examining a, the tube open at both ends and the tube closed at both ends because the math for both of these is the same. First, we need to find the wavelength of the resonant frequency of the tube. To do this, we measure the length of the tube from end to end, multiply it by two, and divide it by the harmonic, which of the re resonant frequencies the tube will be vibrating at. In this case, we want the first one. So M equals one. So it is simply two times L for our purposes. The next part of the math is to calculate the, is the resonant frequency of the tube using the wavelength. Or we can simply jump straight to calculating frequency. The frequency of any harmonic is equal to a multiple of the resonant frequency. And the resonant frequency is equal to the speed of the wave through the medium, in this case air, over twice the length of the tube. We only want the resonant frequency, the first one. The fundamental frequency, it's called. So M is 1 for our purposes. So we can simply jump ahead to here. This is the wavelength. Here's the equation for the wavelength. And here is the algebra getting us to the frequency. And because we're working with air, the speed is 343 meters per second. This is the formula for the resonant frequency of a, of a closed open tube. Now, as I'm going to assume that you're all highly intelligent college students, I'm not going to walk you through the algebra again. It's exactly the same, except with a four instead of the two. Now, I tested this myself. I found a PVC tube, a speaker, and a frequency generator. I measured the tube to be 74 centimeters long, or 0.74 meters. And then I used the formula I just showed you to calculate its resonant frequency. In this case, 231.76 hertz. Now, something to keep in mind is that this isn't always perfect. What I found from practice was that the tube vibrated, resonated more strongly at 250. 15 hertz, give or take, 212, 215, somewhere in that range. There's always some little imperfection in the actual experiment that your calculations can't always account for. Now, I will be, show, I will be playing a recording of me testing the resonance of the pipe. 